Let's play with some more ephemera ideas for Defemeremember 2023. Hello and welcome to the Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And I'm back again in my lovely junk journal. This is a folder binder that I have created completely from scraps, just using what has been strewn around the desk over the last year and compiling it all into one place, clearing up the desk, crafting my way out of the mess. And this is the the result. So I have quilted together all the scraps, added some little embellished bits, buttons and charms and I've got a ring binder folder here and it's got this flap over which allows me to get to the prompt list and here you can see my quilting which was on three layers and inside there is a padded bag, a padded paper bag. So I am working through these as best I can. I'm not convinced I'm going to get all of them done. I said right from the beginning that I thought that that would be a bit much. I'm planning on doing at least 12 of the 16 prompts for 12 days of Christmas and I think that what I will do now is carry on on this list and my last one was Halloween meets Christmas. So we did Clocks with Wings and Halloween meets Christmas. So they are really fun. I enjoyed that very much. You can have a look on my playlist for Defemeremba 2023. You will see all the videos that I created for these prompts and you can follow along and you can see how to make the binder, which could work for any time of the year. It does not have to be for this project. So today I'm gonna have a look at Kintsuki Houses, which is prompt number 12, and we'll also have a look at Magical Creature and see how we get on from there. So we're looking at Kintsuki today. That is an ancient Japanese technique to repair pottery. Now this is a very ancient technique known in Japan where a piece of pottery was once broken and it was repaired with a gold lacquer and thus giving the piece a new lease of life. The piece that was broken originally was actually a favourite drinking vessel which then had a crack and it was repaired to honour the piece that was originally so special and to make it special by showing the repair rather than camouflaging it as we would try to do in a modern day gluing it together but ultimately seeing the crack and it not being very pretty. So if we were to break something ceramic today we could piece it together with a glue that was tinted in gold and that would become part of the design. Well this is now a creative technique that people use within art and it's wonderful, it's really interesting. But what we're going to try and do here is to convert the concept onto paper. My plan is to make houses in the style of broken pottery and repair them with a gold glue. So I'm going to just keep it as simple as that. I'm going to use my paints and I'm going to alter my paper with a different colour and see if I can get a ceramic pottery feel. So I've chosen some handmade paper, it's quite strong and I think it will hold well with the paint and I want to make two houses so I'm going to separate the paper by folding it and just tearing it to create a rough edge and I will work on the pieces individually. The reason I'm tearing it now is because I want that rough edge so that will take up the colour. So what I want to do is tear off this tear off this and then I'm going to tear this out with a slight curve to it and That's better, it's a little bit rustic. And then I'm gonna come in here, tear in there, and then I'll just tear down these pieces here. Okay, so now I've got a rough rustic house shape. Okay, so that's one house. Um, I might stain that for a label. Oop, okay, go that way. Okay, now I've got my house shapes and a spare piece there. I'm just going to stain them using my acrylic paints. I'm going to put them in this little dish. 
I'm just adding some dark blue. When I think of the colours of Japan, one of the colours is that deep indigo blue and I like to see if I can create that with an ink effect. I'm adding some black because I want this really dark and I'm also adding some purple because when I was making the colour up the other day for my selfie in a bubble, I used these three colours and came out with a very nice effect. So this is a dark blue. This is a dark Prussian blue. Uh, I think I'll just add a little bit more. I haven't really got a lot left of that one. It's a shame because it's a nice colour. And to make a colour wash, I'm just using some water from my water spray bottle. And I want to just mix those colours in together using my paintbrush. And that will give me a nice stain. And then I will add that to my paper. I've got my watered down acrylic paint, I've got my little houses here and I'm just going to paint over the top and see if I can stain them in a nice inky blue colour. lot of fun. I built up the layers with several different coats of that blue paint and as you could see I was getting a very different varying look because of the crinkled paper that I had it on. So the brown packaging paper wrinkled up and then created some extra texture as it started to soak in at different rates and dry. So there we go, we've got some texture already on the paper just from that paint effect and that is really interesting. So I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible and now what I want to do is put on my cracks. The way I'm going to do that is by using glue. I'm going to use a three in one. It's a silicone glue and I'm hoping that it will give a raised effect because that I think is going to be more interesting, bring in a bit of texture. The other thing I could do is to cut into the card to create cracks and to separate it. But I think that might be long-winded and what I actually want is journaling cards. So I'm going to take the most interesting side with the texture. I'm going to put my glue on and then I am going to try and coat it in a gold. So we'll have a look at that. I'm going to just apply the glue and I'm hoping to get an even stream but it doesn't matter if I don't. Now I'm coming down this way. I'm going to maybe say that it snapped off there. And I think I will come out of maybe this line here and trail it up here down to there and actually think I'm going to do a little one here now I'm just going to put those over there for one moment and I'm going to find my imitation gold leaf I think for this you could use gold glitter, you could use gold mica, you could use a wax that's coloured like um, if we do wax seals you may be able to trail the wax across it. You could do very simply a glue gun, a stream of glue and then you could get a gold gilding wax and maybe rub that in but I think to get that crisp edge you really want to make sure that you are not smearing paint around simply take a gold pen and you could just draw in the lines and in the same way you could take a paintbrush and you could draw in the lines as well but I'm just wanting to do something slightly different I'm going to be using this product which is an imitation gold leaf and it's really important that this glue is dry almost so almost dry so if I put my finger in it it's not going to come away it needs to be tacky that's pretty good. It's nearly there. So that uh, 
that's nearly there. While I'm waiting, I'm going to get out one of these leaves. I've been able to get hold of this from Amazon, but I have seen them in all good craft stores and they are very affordable and lots of applications for it, but they are extremely fine. So in here, I've got some scraps from a previous project. So we could use that, I suppose. Uh, there's a piece there. So we'll use that, but this is a whole sheet. This is what it looks like. It comes like this, very, very fine. So let's just do a little tester piece down here and just lay a bit on there, like that. And then I'm just going to take the brush and push it into the glue. For this one, I'm just going to lie it straight on the top and um, just take the brush and really push that all over. Nice little idea here. I'm really enjoying this. I really wanted a very strong gold colour and I think I could have achieved this with embossing powders too in a gold. Um, but I just wanted to use the imitation gold because I wanted to get that chunky raised effect. I think I would have only got that from a glue gum bead of glue or one of the silicon glues. So Fabri-Tac or the 3-in-1, anything like that would work nicely. And now we can just take a tissue or a soft cloth and just gently go over the lines and remove the excess just gently there we go doesn't that just look stunning and very authentic i'm really pleased with it and, and on the other side that is a really lovely journaling space would look fantastic in a gold gel pen or in a white gel pen just to do some journaling there. It looks really smart. I love that. So that's one and then I'm just doing the same for this. Just taking the tissue I can then break up that and just pull that away and then these all become scraps for another project. With the piece that I've got here I'm going to use the lighter side and I'm just going to create a little doorway I think here I'm going to glue that down. This technique would look lovely on a navy blue scrapbooking paper as well. And these are really fun so I've got an envelope here which I've put a couple of tabs on and I think that that could come and live there and then this is an envelope to store some information so I quite like that idea I'm not going to fully commit to it though so I'm just going to put a paper clip on there for now and we'll add this in to say that we've done that prompt and then this one well it could potentially come and live in this little fold out piece here so that's all sweet and it's just really nice just a nice little idea there I love that that's really great love the color slightly different nice to work in something that's not brown so that's the indigo blue I'm just going to tuck that there for now and then this can come and live here and I'll just punch the holes and we'll say that that is done and there we go. So that is my Kintsuki houses. There's two houses there and I think that they're really sweet so when that comes over I could even have that like that. So lots of ways that this could go. They could be stuck down and become a pocket. They can be journaling cards in their own right. They could be tucked elsewhere in the journal. One could come and live on this envelope here and just be a feature. And the whole thing is just really fun. So I really liked doing that one. All done. Okay, so the next prompt is Magical Creature. All right, I'm going to delve back into my stamps and see what I've got that's vaguely magical and then I'm going to decorate it. I'm reaching into my stamps again and I believe I got this free from a magazine a long time ago. Never been used and it is completely wasted on me. It's for card making and I just haven't done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mermaid and I'm going to see if I can 
and put her onto some watercolour paper. And I'm just going to add this down, see what this looks like. Oh, that's pretty good. OK. She looks a bit like a pixie. I'm just going to take my watercolours and I'm going to have a little go at this. And then what I think I'll do is I'll put some scraps on her tail. So I fussy cut out the mermaid and I have embellished the tail with some scraps and then used the mica paint which I've been enjoying for this journal and I have decided that she should probably live there and then this will be a place where we can put things. I'm absolutely covered in, in right. paint and I found this little piece of fabric here which I think I can probably put along the top and sort of make that something more um, and then I think that the houses can come and just live here and that is my prompts for today so I'm really really pleased. I think if maybe I bring in some die cuts and some fabrics on the back here which will link in those colours it'll pull it all together and uh, sort of be a nod to this beach theme that we've got going on here so that's what I have done today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration and that you might have a go at maybe the hot glue gun and then some gold paint, have a little go. Uh, certainly using a darker colour, it would look really fantastic in a dark green and a dark grey as well. And then you could really put those gold lines on to make it look like broken china. And if you have a patterning in the, in the background as well, like old china, that would look lovely. And then My Little Mermaid, that's really nice with a scrappy tail. I've enjoyed doing that. So that's the prompts for today. Lovely junk journaling today. And these pieces are nice and flat and these were just scrap pieces of paper that came from old sketchbooks. So there we go, nice way to use up your paper scraps and enjoy some of the supplies that you may have lying around your craft room. Thank you very much for watching, my name's Melanie and above everything else guys just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now! Thank you.